Welcome to the Black Mind Games podcast, episode two hundred and ninety-two. Um, yeah, I'm your host Jeff. Joining me this week is Josh, um, and also joining me this week is Alan. Hello, boys and girls. Uh, I, yeah, it has been a great week for me. Uh, I had a COVID test. Oh boy! It wasn't the anal swab. No, it wasn't the anal swab. Luckily, the government here is nice enough to not anal swab me. Um, but the anal swab might have been less painful than what I went through because they shove a Q-tip about yay long up your nose. I mean, it's... Nobody can see your hands, first off. Yeah, but they shove they shove a Q-tip about like a good three, four inches up your nose. And uh, I have really bad adenoids. Uh, I have allergies when like the snow melts and so like I get like headaches and I get all this fun fun shit um, to the point of where like I have to like take headache medica- medication and like drink a lot of shit loads of water and all the fun stuff. Yep. Um, so they shove this thing up my nose and like it instantly sent like all of the fucking like pain receptors through my body just like to overdrive it was great <laughs> extremely painful crazy the anal swab would have been preferable <laughs> i i i'm kind of thankful that i don't have to do that yet <laughs> oh the, the funny story is just like so what happened is my dad um and my neighbor uh-huh. They both like watching hockey. So they both will watch the game and then they'll hang out for 15, 20 minutes and talk about the game, usually outside. Um, the neighbor goes to his cabin and ends up spending it this entire weekend with his family. Okay. And they're being relatively easy and they're, they're spending most of the time outside following the restrictions and they're not wearing masks. And the daughter, stepdaughter tests positive. So, so it was that was my day. Uh, Tuesday. It's likely that the fact that it wasn't. Um, all right, there, there's a lot of things there that that raise a lot of questions because of the way it is. Yeah. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, I, I, I just know that like it was like both of us, me, my dad's tested negative. I tested negative. My mom's tested negative. The entire house is tested negative. And, like, it was hilarious because the first day they were like, oh, no, you have to quarantine while you're waiting for your test. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit and I can't go outside. This is horrible. I can't do this. Jeff tried to get me to fucking buy him shit. I tried to get Alan to buy me monster energy drinks. <laughs> I was like, Alan, buy me monster energy drinks. And I was like, you can just order it. And I'm like, buy me energy drinks. <laughs> no, I need them. You know I'm good for it. I know you are, but I don't. I don't want it. The funny thing is, is like I, I could have gone to like see. Here, here's the way that I know Alan's a good friend is the fact that like I can tell Alan, uh, to do something, and Alan will sit there and go no. But also, like if I was like ODing on something, Alan would probably have my back and drive me to a hospital, maybe with minor judgment. Um. No comment. Am I wrong? No comment. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> if, if I needed to go to the hospital, you would drive me, right? Um, no. If you needed to go to the hospital, I'd be calling an ambulance for you. 
if I was present. Okay. I mean, depends on the situation. Like, if you are in a, such a state that I have that that uh, I have to drive you to the hospital, um, and nobody else is present, I'm calling an ambulance because I have first aid, so I have enough knowledge to like solve that problem. Anything prior to that. Okay. Um. However, however. If you are in such a state that I can't solve that problem, um, then it needs to be a medical professional that helps you, not me. And I cannot drive you because you might be in a, such a situation that you need to stay where you are until a medical professional shows up. First aid is I, I make sure the situation is safe enough to just hand you off to the professionals. If not, well, too bad. Hmm. Okay. Understandable. I was trying to give Alan credit. Let's be fair, though. Josh is a really good friend. Uh huh. Uh, Josh would totally call me an ambulance. I and I drive would. me to the hospital. <laughs> I would, because jo- I mean... Josh knew. I texted Josh. I told him something important this week, and he was like, "I'm happy for you." Yeah. I'm like, yeah. whatever. Get paid. That's that's my motto. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know who wasn't you know who wasn't happy though? Who? This week. Intel. Intel was not happy this week. Intel released the uh eleven thousand series, which is markedly worse than the previous generation of chips, and nobody should buy uh an I nine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are they saying that all the the bag of chips is theirs? There's all our it's chips. It's an FX. It's an FX chip. <laughs> uh huh. It's an AMD FX stop chip. Eat, it overheats. Stop eating all the chips. These chips are mine. They're they're very hot. They're my Doritos flavored chips. They're <laughs> they're very hot chips. <laughs> they're very hot chips. Ghost yeah. pepper chips, as you could say. Yeah, they're ghost pepper chips. Um, the benchmarks are in. The only chip that is actually worth buying is eleven six hundred K. And the 11400. And if you buy an 11400, you're losing out on overclocking support, which to each their own, that's not really a big deal. But the 11600K seems like a pretty good value. And the 11400K seems like a really good value. Um, but then again, you also have like higher platform costs. You also have higher expenses. It's a six core, six chip, or six core, six, th- uh, six core, eight. No, six core, twelve thread, chip, um, and it tends to be a pretty good little CPU for what you're paying for. Well, that's um, that's good. Yeah, I, I I really am not very interested in the Intel chips. I be interested in the good chip, whatever the hell that is. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, Josh. Though you kind of need like an. Uh, I need RX. To, I need to overhaul yeah. everything, really. You, you, your computer is just old. Yeah. If any, you need to give it to. If any, Alan. <laughs> if anything, actually, currently, I want to clone some drives and put in some bigger drives in it. But I think once the time comes that I could just overhaul everything, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's gonna be funny is like it's gonna be me buying you the parts, isn't it? You just out of rage. You or I don't know the buddy of mine that I sometimes in contact with <laughs> because of work is the same. But but really, it's like yeah. Is this is this the speedrunner or speedrunner? Uh speedrunner. Yes. He speedrunner is gonna speedrunner and I are in a speedrunning race in order to buy Josh computer parts. Oh yeah, actually he mine's gonna be better. Actually, no he, mu- he's all about his car right now currently. Which oh man, that's a very pimped out car. Why does he not come on the show, Josh? Uh, because I keep. Is he afraid about destroying his brand? It's okay. We destroy everyone's brand. What's no, this? his brand actually, his brand kind of just dropped off because wh- he got oh. super burnt out of speed running. He still does it, mm. but he just doesn't do it as often as he did. We need him to come on the show. We need to talk Ooh, about what? cars. Josh's speed running. Oh, friend. We yes. need him on the show. Not really. We need to do an hour long podcast about cars. That's <laughs> about how the no. Mustang is the superior car. No, I mean, his car is kind of a kit at this point. What's what's his car? Uh, what car is it, I could, if you look on his Twitter, 
Uh, let's see if I can get his Twitter name. It's Cherno. See, I deactivated my Twitter recently. Yeah. Yeah. Cherno yeah. TV. Yep, there it is. I switched to Gab and Mines. They're a lot less restrictive, and they have a lot less enemies on that platform. So, uh, if you go to this Twitter, uh, basically he does post about his car sometimes. And uh, I would say the first, no, not those ones. No, nope. it's gonna be funny because like you're gonna send it to me, and then I'm gonna be like, ah. I mean, he does post about like anime memes and shit, so I'm like, you know, he's <laughs> that type of person. Uh, huh. Sounds like a wonderful dude. Why is he not on the show? Again, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh actually i did find a picture of his current car uh also the the freaking time that i drove with him in his car and his fucking engine blew up mm. uh that's always nice he's in a 911 there that one should be the picture of his car okay the hood he, he does have decals on it and shit but i just i think it's on the hood i just don't oh oh dude that's like I, I don't know what car that I think that's a Merc. I just see the anime babe on the side, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a Merc? I think that's a Merc. Yeah. Like, I Alan, what's your opinion on that? <laughs> it looks nice. I don't like the I don't like the fucking rims. I look obnoxious. I, mean, the, I don't know. The <laughs> rims are fine. I think he's trying to keep in color scheme with the current anime check he likes. I think uh, it's a mimic. Hot no. new Miku. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, that so, makes it even more obnoxious. Get rid of those fucking rims. Your fucking anim- your waifu is fucking trash. <laughs> um, and I, I, I and I don't mean that as like a meme. I mean like straight up. Get rid of that, that shit off your car. It makes it look worse. I need to meet this person. Oh wait, I found an even better picture with the deck L. Hold well, on. I need to meet this person so much. <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh, the... you ruined a, oh, you ruined that's a, a Honda Civic. Fuck me, you ruined a good car. That's a Honda Civic. He has why a... would you buy? Why would you do that to a Honda Civic? And also, he put a. Oh, wait, no, that's an Accord. That's even worse. Nah, no, it's a it's a fucking Honda Accord. It's nothing. Yeah, he. Put... That's even worse. No. he put a turbo How in is it. Is that worse? Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't suit up a Honda Accord. Yeah, that's. No, you can soup, you don't. soup up whatever you car you want. You suit up a Civic. No, you can soup up whatever car you want. Sure, we'll say we'll say we'll say that both of us are wrong, but both of us are also right. No, I am literally the only one right here. You are, but I am rejecting your reality and substituting no. it for my own. No, you don't get to do that. Because you are literally wrong in this case. You can soup up whatever car you want. You're going to get judged for it if you decide to soup up for fucking I am judging very hard. I don't care. It's a Honda Accord. I still want to meet this person, though. I couldn't care less about this car. I now really want him to help me suit up my Mustang. He can do that. Oh, man, this guy sounds like a great Pearson. <laughs> like he, I said person like, wrong. Oh, fuck. Again, the time that the engine blew up, uh, or I think it's the transmission blew up. Uh, <laughs> the time that blew up. He, Don't say those words, Josh. <laughs> I want a six speed in my car. <laughs> so he had the turbo in his car. Uh, he was testing it out and recording it on the computer. I was charged with hitting the record button. And as soon as he took off with his car, the car fucking exploded. <laughs> a bunch <laughs> of fucking burnt oil is coming out of the back of his car. And he's like, that's not good. That's bad. Yep. And uh, there's some aftermath images I know he put on Twitter. And it was like, fuck, you, that, he said it's like three grand in the drain or something. Like a lot of money. Yep. That yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. Well, it's okay. I would be making. It's okay. Uh, yeah, we're talking about cars because we don't want to talk about Intel chips. They're bad. Uh, I'm indifferent towards Intel. John, Alan doesn't care about computer parts. No, I do. Unless they're I defending, lo- unless just, he I, has to defend their freedom. I'm just indifferent to the point of like, I just want a good computer part that doesn't like freak the fuck out when I play yeah. a game or do something normal. That's literally, that's how, I that's literally how I look at it. Yeah. At least you're not like at least you're not like a certain person, Noah, who sat there and took six years in order for me to or no, it was three years to convince him to actually like switch over from Intel to AMD. 
and his entire reasoning was like, well, AMD's bad. And it's like, dude, you're fucking retarded. Shut up. Like, just shut up, please. Please stop. You're hurting my feelings. Uh huh. But yeah, no, you guys are like just so indifferent where it's like, I just get a message. And I'm like, can you parts out a PC for me? Or Alan just goes, I went to Memory Express and the guy said, do this. Yeah. I'm, and that's the way that you do I'm, it. I, I, again, I'm not a huge tech guy. I know I'm not, even though I play a lot of video games. Um, I sit down and I make my computer to last five to ten years, minimum. Mm-hmm. Minimum five, maximum ten. I can, if I can stretch it out to fifteen, I do. But by after ten years, it kind of you don't want to do that anymore because at that point your motherboard's starting to get a bit too old for it. Um, but that's the reason why I do it, and this is the reason why my brother, my I still have the same motherboard I got. Now, eight years ago, nine, something like that. I'm getting to the end of my life here. So I got to look at yep. new stuff here soon. But the only thing I've had to update in there is a single graphics card. And the only reason why I need to update that is so I can have an additional port so I could have one of the uh, my um, Wacom tablet to be able to like, adapt into it. So that was the reason why I had to go get a mm. new like graphics card. Outside of that, you know what I need. Outside of that, I haven't had to update anything. Actually, no, I had to update. I had to update the RAM, but that was more because they were like, "Yeah, no, new RAM came out. You might want to update that." Because even when I got the RAM back when I fucking built the computer, it was a bit, a bit, a couple years old. Good to know. Uh, anyways, we got other topics for you. Uh, Alan has nothing because Alan's been busy being a student. Yep, pretty much doing student I things. Got he got a keyboard. Hold on. He got a keyboard. Boys and girls. Okay, get ready. Josh got a keyboard. No. Ugh. I hate it. I don't. I already hate it. I don't care. I just didn't expect it to play. I was expecting to be on your computer talking to us about it. How do you I like your keyboard, Josh? No! Because <laughs> you sound distant. I don't even know if your audio is so, picking up. I can hear you, yeah, but is. there is no guarantee that... I can hear No, him. Th- that's the thing. I can guarantee I can hear him. I can tell you th- can hear him. Can his audio for Audacity hear him? If he's using sure the same microphone, it. yes, it's fine. Yeah, Audacity does a better job than Discord, because Discord is fucked. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Uh, it's it's just Discord. Blame uh, blame other people. We'll blame uh, we'll blame Microsoft. All Microsoft. I, it's all Microsoft's fault. All I know is I'm seeing the waveform on it. It's definitely picking up on it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like. Anyways, why dude, why did you pick up a fucking key uh key guitar? Because Tony fucking told him to do it. No. So here's the thing. Ever since forever, like Daft Punk basically is the starting point of like, oh, they use these keyboards and use synthesizers. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go. And it's been like that forever. And then finally, I just got to a point of like, fuck it. I'll just buy a cheap kind of keyboard and or a synthesizer and I'll just get it. So I just did some basic searching of like, okay, what's like, you know, low end. I don't want anything too crazy. And I found the five hundred dollar MS 101 by Benheiser. And uh, I was like, okay, this looks cool. I looked up a YouTube video, heard the sounds that it can make out of it. And I was like, okay, this is still pretty cool. And then uh, the, the same YouTube video went through all the features about it and like how it's good. And I was like, OK, OK, yeah. And I looked back at the sale and I noticed there was a uh, it was one for five hundred dollars or one even the same thing, but even cheaper. And I was like, I'll buy that. So I bought that keyboard. And uh, so far, this thing is rad as shit. Uh, man, there's so many settings on this damn thing. Um. I, the one thing that I have to learn is figure out how the waveform it like kind of you can affect everything about the waveform and everything. I look, yeah, I I look forward to Josh making horrible, horrible music well, the, <laughs> or good music. It's probably going to be vaporwave, maybe vaporwave, although vaporwave is so it's so bad. I agree. You know what you should do? You should do a song called If You're Racist and You Know It, Clap Your Hands. <laughs> no, I like the one of uh, If There's a Serial Killer in the House, Clap Your Hands. And then clap, clap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the, like, man, there's so many settings on this thing. It's just so rad. I love the crap can out of it. Make, huh? Can you can you make come? Can you make the come zone no. song? No, that's actually a little more 
producer set. I pretty oh. sure, I'm pretty sure it is because that's still my favorite vaporwave song. That's not it, even vaporwave. That's uh, or, oh. I want to say that's psychedelic or something. Because uh, you know what, I'll I will totally do acid and listen to that song. <laughs> Oh, you're... maybe that's what we should do one day is just buy some acid and videotape me. We could message Dr. Boo. Dr. Boo wanted to see me on acid. He felt it would be hilarious. Man, I just love oh, I love this damn thing. And also, I can give it a FM amount and also FM source. So it's like, oh, I don't like the sound of that. I could just change the FM on it and it would be like different entirely. And it'd be like, oh, there's so much, so much flexibility. It's so rad. I just I just like how like the entire t I, I was expecting like something that you could hit a button and make like sound. I have like a soundboard. See, when I, I, when I was, but... I'm not gonna lie. When he typed in, I got a keyboard. I thought he got a new like computer keyboard. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I was I like, why? Here. Didn't you just recently build the computer? Did you have a fuck up or something? No, nope. I get uh, I, every time I say keyboard, I keep forgetting. It's like, no, it's a synth. It's a synth. Like that's every time I just say keyboard because it's a fucking, you know, piano, basically. That's why. So it's like it's a keyboard. But I'm like, no, hold on. I'm talking to the wrong group of people. Maybe maybe you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll just buy. Um, We'll just buy a bunch of uh, oh, yeah. mechanical keyboards. Oh, that's so low. Yeah. And also. Yeah, bro. Ugh. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, that's... I hate how you love it, but I, lo I hate it. Oh, uh, uh, here's another thing. I'm going through my uh, current mixing on the on the synth, but there's also mixing going on on the stupid. Uh, uh, amp that I'm going through with for my brother's amp. So there's two levels of mixing here that I have to freaking understand. And also I have a challenge of, okay, if I want to pick up the sounds from this keyboard, I have to get an actual mixer because the stupid two channel I have, which I'm, it's the, what was it? The UR22C. It doesn't. You have the higher end version of mine. So yeah. It doesn't actually have like an input so I can record the audio off of this damn thing. So it's like, oh, it's so, kind of annoying. So in other words, you didn't actually like research what you were looking into. You just looked for. No, he didn't yeah. because he bought stuff that fitted for the time. Exactly. And learning experience all the way. Yeah. And he didn't do anything wrong. But he did do something wrong. I just love it. It's so good. I just love how you love it, even though I don't like it. Anyways, we got to shift gears. All right. Uh, did anyone play any games this week? Because uh, I played one. Not really. No. After having a headache. After having a headache. Yeah. He yeah. Alan told me last night to go to bed. And instead of going to bed, I said, fuck you, dad. Played Doom. <laughs> fuck you, dad. I'm going to have a headache. You, Fuck you, 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 you I'm gonna have a headache. You literally should have gone to bed because you were because <laughs> be you were complaining about a. Uh, I, and by the way, the words he used to describe this last night was a splitting headache to me in the chat, no. and I was like, "No, you should go to bed then." You because he then is also explained to me that he also didn't get much sleep and that he was stressing, and I was like, "Hmm, gee, I wonder if you should sleep." Hmm. Hmm. And he, then he tried to, like, I was like, oh, hey, well, I'm feeling better now. And I'm like, cool, go to fuck sleep. Because there's three reasons why I'm saying this. One, just because you don't feel the symptoms anymore doesn't mean you still don't have a condition. Two, hmm. just because the headache is gone doesn't mean it might not return with a vengeance. And three, you also were lacking sleep last night. Go the fuck to sleep. That's not true. I had eight hours. It's just that my Fitbit was like, hey, you got like a 70. On the sleep scale. Uh huh. I don't believe that. So at I was all. like, yeah. No, I can show you a picture, man. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, on top of that, as I and as I have now explained, um, you should probably go to bed and recover. 
Um, instead of listening to me, he now went to go play Doom Eternal. So at yeah. that point, by the time he started playing Doom Eternal, I had literally gone off to do my workout. So I didn't even know that. And I mean, hey, you were the one you were the one who complained about the headache and then took my advice to go to fuck to sleep and rest and then didn't. To be fair, I said I said, OK, I'm going to do programming you're, you're and then I'm going to idiot. <laughs> I said I was going to do I was like, I'm going to do programming and then I'm going to take the dog for a walk and then I'm going to go to bed. I did the programming. <laughs> I took the dog for a walk and then I got home and I'm like, I feel better. I'm going to play Doom Eternal. And then I played Doom Eternal for about until about 12 in the morning and then i stopped and i got up to the dark lord i beat two of his faces and around 12 o'clock at night and then i stopped i believe so by the time i came back you were already gone all right yeah whatever i think i wasn't keeping track i know i got a terrible night's sleep tonight and like tonight's gonna be you are again oh my god i am like dude this week has been so fucking stressful for me like for reasons that will not be mentioned on the show, and then for other reasons, COVID nineteen scare. Again, I this <sighs> Jeff, you are an idiot. The reason why I'm telling you to yes. go to bed last night was because hey, you're in a condition, you're in a condition state. You should go to bed and actually reco- uh, recuperate. But no, and you, you don't want to. And you know what Jeff said. You're, you were an idiot who said, no, I know what's best for me, even though you were literally being advised on this fact by a friend who literally goes to this once in a while during the summer where he gets so bad with a headache that I can't function, that I have to go to bed. There's a reason why I'm saying this. Shut up and do it. You fucking idiot. I like being fucking idiots. Very nice. <sighs> Anyways. But no, I'm actually going to go to bed a little bit early tonight, so. Uh, cause I really didn't sleep well last night. Mm. Yeah. I actually played, uh, GTA finally. <laughs> you played the, you played the campaign or you actually played like the online and how I, weird you of a... played that last week. Yeah. I played that more. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's, it's just a playground, right? Pretty much. Uh, mm-hmm. so like the whole, uh, it basically it's this main it's it is like the single player game except it has a whole bunch of uh like cooperative slash like oh someone is moving supplies over at the side of the city if you get there and you disrupt their disrupt their supply run you get like uh what's it called rp uh and also some cash for doing it but it but it really kind of turns out like, OK, so people are trying to do their missions and people are, you know, running around and doing stuff like there's a lot of stuff to do. You could you can still go play tennis. You can still go do the shooting ranges. You can still do all the stuff. The only thing that sucks is uh, from my point of view is like the way the CEO shit works in that game, because like you you be a CEO of your own you know illegal company. You're crime illegal. syndicate. Yeah, crime syndicate company, basically. And you can hire other people and they can be part of it and they can help you do missions and they get money, too. It's weirdly worked out as you're the CEO. You'll get a fuck ton of money and then everyone else will get, you know, trickle down money as it goes. I find it really fucking weird that it has to be built that way, because I'm like, why couldn't it be that like everyone just gets equal amounts? Because I'm like. It just kind of boils down to like if all your friends are CEOs and they all want to be CEO at the same time, how is that going to work out? It's just extending your play period forever with that stupid game. It's turning into an MMO. Like, I think that's what they kind of want it to be, but it's, they can't. It's, it's almost like that. It's almost like GTA Online has a lot of bad game designs. The problem with GTA Online is that it's really fun just to fuck around in. But the moment that you actually like put time into it, you want to kill yourself. Oh yeah, and stop playing because it's not conducive to a fun experience. It's something that you fuck around with for about two hours and then you call it a day. I mean, I have fun for trying to do the heist and stuff like that. With uh, yeah, yeah. It, no, the shit it does well, it does really well. Oh, stuff yeah. like the heist and stuff like that, really fun. But like, is it? Again, it's a game that you play for about two hours, you stop, and then you come back the next day and you do the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah. It, I think, um, yeah, it's pretty much like, you know, run around, kind of do like the lather, lather, rinse, repeat of the motions. Uh, there is kind of slightly more to it than just doing the motions. But I, I then again, it's it is also still GTA. Like you're kind of still shooting people, racing to a place, and then maybe you have to do a mini game or two. Mm hmm. So, I mean, I'm still having fun with it because there's still the random element of other people maybe wanting to fuck your shit up for no reason because trolling or they actually get money out of it or it's a hacker. <laughs> the hacker situations are so interesting because the last time I uh, or the people who are modding like fucking the last time I was uh, in a mat or in a server, uh, I was like my first time playing and I was like, oh, this is, you know, the GTA. I'm getting, you know, through the, the ropes and like figuring out how all the buttons work. And then uh, as soon as I was getting into a car, the seasons in the game start changing from day, night, dusk, raining all at once. I'm like, uh, and then it stopped that snow. And it's like everything just changed all at once. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Tony, I was talking to is like, yeah, that's that's a modder. I'm like, oh, Oh, they have that much power. Oh, okay then. I'm like, I thought they could only do like you know weird like teleporting shit, but it turns out no, they could just change anything. I'm like, that's... they can just do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's kind of nuts. Oh yeah. No, that game is like really bad. There's a bunch of stuff that like you sit there and you see, like, and you're just like, man, what the fuck? Like, they recently had an issue where they were like, uh like a modder figured out how to like increase the speed of the game by 40 percent specifically in load times <laughs> and rockstar was like what the fuck no we have to implement this and then they gave the guy like 10 grand i mean that's actually the best thing you could do like yeah yeah like if anything gta online needs a more vast modding community and it needs to be free uh, like that, that it, i would, well, I would, no, I would dude, agree it's that. microtransaction out the ass yeah I mean, the only reason why I picked up the GTA in the first place, because uh, Tony was telling me, like, yeah, it's $14 right now. I'm like, it's $14. And I looked at it and it's on sale for $14. Isn't that, so isn't, I was like, isn't that game like eight years old? Yeah, it's like 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. And it's finally cheap. And I'm like, yes, I'll get it because it seems like it's actually I remember in the first place that game did not oh. have a lot and people were complaining. It is. And only I was like, well, old. Jesus yeah. Christ, how has it only just gone on sale? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> because every single time it goes on sale, Rockstar will sit there and increase the price of all of their stuff in order to balance out the price. So they'll actually, like, they'll decrease the price of the game, but they'll throw in bundles into the game, so it maintains the same price. I'm not joking, by the way. I can believe that, mm. actually, given how scummy Rockstar can be. Rockstar is like on the scumness level. They're not as scummy as some other companies, Activision mainly, um, and how a Activision acts and Bethesda and a bunch of companies. But like, you gotta look at that and you gotta go, go, the fuck. And that being said, like even Activision's like, or even Rockstar is like improving. They do everybody's capable of doing something wrong. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't have uh, anything to talk about this week. I, I'm just kind of like been busy writing and stuff. Uh, it's Easter this weekend, by the way. It's Easter. Easter. Yes. It's Easter. <laughs> Oh, where is that meme? I wish I I know I retweeted it, but it's uh, everyone on Twitter is reposting uh, crucifixions from anime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All over the place. You'd notice like, oh, wow, I didn't know. A fucking <laughs> Gee, if only like, somebody didn't delete their Twitter. Like there's a fucking all over the place. It's just a bunch of anime shows that just show like, oh, the main character is on a cross and they're like tied up on it. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, hold on. I know I can find one. The one, the best one I liked is a fucking Digimon on a cross. Yeah, That's, that one's so weird. Uh, <laughs> there are questions to be asked, and I don't know if I want an answer to that. I like. I think the reason why is that like Japan just doesn't. Oh well, no, they do have 
they, they understand it's what the crucifix like, you know, means. They, they also know that it's also yeah. some punishment from the past. Yeah, exactly. So, but they don't have that standard of like, oh, you probably shouldn't do that in media. But no, they, like, they, no they, fuck it any- they do have that standard. It's just a very different standard. Like yeah. the cross is still. Japan is like a country that will push the boundaries. No, no it, I would say some other countries would push it harder. I know J- Japan is this weird spot of like they don't realize race, is, racism still exists. Well, no, that's, that's no. They're, they're shut they're up. A little weird. They're a little weird. They have cultural differences. They are not racist because they don't. Uh, you gotta realize Japan is one of the most hod- uh, homogenized countries in the world. Like to the point where it's like like statistically unlikely if you were a Japanese person you would that you would ever see a new like a black person or a white person in japan like it's so statistically unlikely that it's like kind of surprising um so like they don't have these kind of interactions so like they just like yeah we're doing this and people are just like hey that's racist like no it's not because literally we're basing this off of our own culture shut up and again for them, even though they have Christianity in Japan, they've had Christianity in Japan since I think the 1500s, uh, the 15th, 16th century, somewhere around there when the Dutch showed up. I don't remember exactly when they showed up. Um, but it's not a massive religion. But they understand <coughs> the point of what a crucifixion is. Because you got to remember, a crucifixion is a fucking punishment method for rebels. And tri- it's an execution. It's an execution, just like how hanging is. Just like how... Um, fuck, I forgot what the other one was. Um. Oh man, I can't think of the other one. Um, but uh, like being um impaled. That's another type of uh, uh execution. Um, and, and the thing is, is you need to use if you're gonna use it in an anime, you're gonna use it as like a thing that that punishes them, the main character or whatever is happening in the show. So it, it like it always uses like the point of a statement. Like even if it's used for community effect, we we use the cross for like like we we'll say in passing or as a joke, hey, well, I'll get crucified for this or da da da. da. It's really it's really interesting. Uh, it's the reason why I enjoy Japan. Yeah. God damn. It. How is it? I'm trying to find this one image and I just can't seem to find it. God. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Because uh, the internet doesn't want me to know. That the t- <laughs> why these episodes get banned for no reason. I mean, that's a good question. Oh, frick! Uh, I can't. Nope. No, I. I I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna find it today. Okay. So, then. so let's talk about Doom Eternal. All right. A little bit because I got up to the end. I'm at the final boss now. So you'll beat it in a. You'll beat it in like an hour tonight. I'll probably beat it in an hour if I don't go to bed. Um, I'm on the final phase. That boss fight is basically a marauder fight, but where whenever the marauder hits you, it gains back all of its health. That sounds like a bad fight. So, it's annoying. That sounds like a mechanically bad fight. That literally punishes the player. It is. It's a. It's like the dark. It's it's Dark Souls esque. No, that's not Dark Souls esque. That's not at all Dark so, Souls S because Dark Souls the en- uh, an enemy hitting you doesn't mean they get back all their HP. It just oh it um, there's there's mean mechanics and then there's punishing mechanics and the enemy boss getting back all the damage you did to it because he hit you is a punishing mechanic. Hmm. The, the thing with that fight is, like, it's very dependent on whatever attack it uses. And you have to have the Dark Lord use a specific attack in order to actually do damage to him. And it's not... I, I don't want to say it's, like, really int- bad, but it's really bad. And it, like, again, it makes uh, Ancient Gods Part 2 worse than it needs to be. Oh, I, again, this is the reason why I immediately fu- I've been fucking lampooning fucking Eternal for the past, what, three months that it's got b- 
bad yeah. game design and nobody keeps and a lot of people keep seem seem to fail to understand this that it's got bad game design it actually it act it has actively been punishing the player for not playing the way it wants to and i've said this so many times and i've been ignored multiple times about this and now that jeff's seeing it i'm like hey look at what i i i but but the thing is is like what you're saying is like you're saying that the base game isn't good or no let me rephrase that what you're saying is you're saying that the base game is because of the flaws they're showing up in ancient gods noticeably worse and it's like the th- problem with ancient gods is that it feels like as if it's more doom eternal but it's just not done as well as the base game where the base game is basically done really no, well. no the base game is not done very well it's done to play only one way and that's it that's the end of like there's nothing else you can do in that game except play the way that they want you to play there's no other choices. There's no like the it, this is going to sound really fucking obnoxious for me to say this. Play is subversive. As you were playing, you want to play it your way. You are not. You do not force the players to play your way because it's just inherently a bad mechanical system. That's the reason why I hate, I've grown to dislike not hate dislike Doom Eternal because I feel it's just not good anymore. Like I've gotten, like I've played it enough to know like where the problems are, where it mechanically fails and why it mechanically fails. That's how far I've gotten with doom eternal. And I, I, I've said this enough at this point. I feel like I'm just a fucking record on repeat. It fails because it forces you to play as the devs want you to play because they, they saw one guy do something really cool with Caricature Sanctum and they were like, damn, that's how we want to base the next game around. Literally, they said that about Doom Eternal. It punishes you for trying to change your play of style away from the, the constant motion style, which is, again, not a good way to endear players. I, As much as I like high-speed games, there is just no way that this and i'm happy that this because i've seen the cutscenes for this game um it kind of fucked themselves in the ass with this one um we're not gonna get another i think that i I think you're you're gonna you're gonna hate the ending jeff go when you play it oh you're gonna hate the ending i Uh, the hints i've already seen are already i promise you you're gonna you're gonna hate this game See, but here's the thing: is like the the hints that I've already seen about the ending are like, okay, I can see how they can make this work. I don't think they're going to make it work though, and like, I still love the game. I still think the game based Doom Eternal is better than Ancient Gods, and I I disagree. I think that like it's fine, but I understand where you're coming from. You're coming from a perspective of the game forces you I'm, to play a certain I'm way. I'm addressing this mechanically, which I is what really you should... I really am conducive to no, that, that and that's the, thing, that's the reason why I'm saying this. This is the reason why you should be looking at this. You should be looking at it mechanically. And you and you keep saying, I understand what you're saying. I disagree with you. You're not addressing any of my arguments. You're just saying, I disagree with you. You're not adding anything substantive to the argument. Be, and you're just avoiding... Exactly. Because you don't want to, because you're, you're scared that you'll have to attack your sacred cow. Jeff, if, if yes. your sacred cow was good enough to defend itself, you wouldn't be able to like you would be able to rip my apart, our arguments apart. But you're not. All you're doing is just sitting there. It's a good game. End of conversation. You're, or I disagree. End of conversation. Well, like, no, Alan, because because the thing is, is that the the thing is, is that what you're saying is your argument is the game is designed so that you don't take hits. No, the I'm, desi- I'm game, designed. It's, the game is designed around for you to play only as constant motion, constant go or kill, constant stuff. You are not to slow down and strategize. You are just to go, 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 go. That's the gameplay. Yeah. It's not to, as you put it, just, oh, God, I hate this because you try to fucking simplify my argument and it's a fucking reductionist statement. My problem is the gameplay forces you only to play one way. There is no adaptability, no player choice, nothing. And it's that and I hate that. I love okay. some of the things they've put in. I love the idea of the tr- of the double dash. I love the early d- uh, double jump. I love the idea of an instant kill weapon. It should have just been the BA- BFG, but all right, whatever. Um, I'm okay with the idea of the Unmaker. I love the idea of the Slayer Gates. They're all great. The Slayer Gates should have been what the game... Sh- uh, the Slayer Gates should have been as they are. The rest of the game should have been toned back where it's actually a little bit slower and allows you to work through things. 
On top of that, it's really gamey to the point where like you pop a head and you get to that. Well, I disagree with the headshot. No, one it's it's because the headshot it's obnoxious. One... It's absolutely no. It's, it's not a, it's obnoxious, abs- Alan. It's literally... you literally complained about the hammer. Yeah, the hammer is very gamey. It's no, the head's very gamey, and that's the root of the hammer. You don't want to address the root because you don't like the uh, because you like the root. No, because the headshot isn't a problem. Yes, it is. They probably took. No, it absolutely is. How is the headshot because a gamey F- thing? because it is. It's pop. It's not a sad. It's not. It doesn't relate to the other sounds. The thing where you get glory kills, where it's crunch, snap, squelch. It's pop. It's a gamey sound to the point where okay. it's actually obnoxious and annoying. Okay, so anyways, let's get back to the topic instead of, like, arguing about this for, like, another hour or two, because... I got a dip here in a minute. What? Yeah. Um, I I think that this... I think that this expansion makes the game worse. Um, I I still am very... I still like it. Um, my, my issue with this expansion is it is very much more of a marauder fight where it feels like as if you have to actually break the fight in a way. And it's all very dependent on the AI attacking. Um, that being said, I understand completely where some of the community is coming from. I think that this expansion has been very easy overall. And I kind of want to see what they do with more doom eternal. Yeah. I mean, you're not, uh, I'm not going to say anything. Like I said, I've, I, I, I've already seen the cutscenes. I've seen all the cutscenes. I know where you're going, dude. You're not going to be happy. I, I know. It's. I know. I kind of figured that this is the ending of the Doom universe, but like no, at the same time, I'm no. No, still... it is much worse than that, dude. It's. Oh. We'll talk about Anyways, it when I beat it. I gotta dip. I, I gotta. I gotta go do for much. Can't wait for the Doom anime. <sighs> well, we gotta talk about. We gotta I'm talk gonna, about. I'm, the I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna let you guys talk about other stuff. I gotta dip though. Yeah, we got to talk about recognize the protection of Motorsport Act. So Alan's going to dip. Oh, boy. And uh, we're going to end the show then. <laughs> um, SEMA recently announced, put up on EPA News, uh, they announced um, so, SEMA for people who don't know. Well, it was the car thing, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So SEMA for people who don't know um, basically is um, – a massive com- com- community, car community. It's basically tuners and stuff like that. They talk about vehicles. They talk about upgrading vehicles. It's a massive convention. It's very popular in the States. Um, the Environmental Protection Agency recently came out and said that uh, the EPA is banning co- race cars and they are banning sh- conversions from street cars to race cars. Um, I got I got multiple problems with that. Uh, starting with, um, quite frankly, the government should not be telling people what they can and cannot do with their own property. Pretty much. Yeah. I I don't think if I want to throw a supercharger in my car, let me, it's not going to hurt anyone. Um, is it going to hurt the planet? Yeah, maybe. But you know what? So is the other 10,000 vehicles on the planet that are also going to hurt everyone. I mean, uh, at the same time, if they're worried about like someone losing control of their car as they're going fast with it, but it's like, but I mean, people do that anyways with a stock car. So I it's mean, like the I, issue here is that what this is going to do is this is just, this this is just going to circumvent. People are just going to circumvent it. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe find some weird loophole. Oh, these are for emergencies. Yeah. Oh, this is this is supercharger on this car. Oh, that's that's for an emergency usage. <laughs> like, I it, can, it's just I can see I can see this being just such a weird weird law of uh, just putting in, and then some people just being like, or like in the uh, in the states before a lot of uh, legal legal weed. There's like oh, what was a weird middle step of like you can be a guy. I forget what it was. It's something like you have to be a person to say, yes, you can go and get weed, but you have Mm -hmm. like the stipulations for this thing. It's like, it's so awkward and weird. It's like, what, what is this? It's just here because it's awkward. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I did a little bit of reading on it. It just seems like as if what they're doing right now is not, not conducive to, 
not conducive to what I think that they should be doing. And like, quite frankly, like the industry, the way that the industry is moving right now is it's moving towards electric cars. Um, and I think that like, hey, give it a couple years. Electric cars are going to be the most dominant platform on that people are going to be tuning with, especially on newer cars. Um, as somebody who is a guy who wants to tune his Mustang and work on his cars, I think that like it's it's going to be interesting in the next couple of years. Yep, like especially with the the freaking uh, electric cars, you don't even have to tune it. Those things go zero to sixty like just like a fucking in two fast... seconds. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like if they're gonna be like, oh, you can't have a race car, then fucking just, everyone's gonna have an electric car. As... Like, just as long as go ahead. I was gonna say it's just gonna be so, so fucking redundant. Also, I finally found it. It's too late, but I found it. Found what? <laughs> the fucking Digimon on a cross. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm slightly offended. <laughs> so funny there's also like uh what's a sailor moon on the fucking cross too like there's a lot of shows that do that people people putting people on the cross yeah yeah no not cross. i mean that makes sense man yeah, uh, I don't know. There's uh, that law you're talking about. Like, I could just see it just fizzling out real fucking hard and just not going anywhere. I mean, this is just needless bureaucracy. It's like when people sat there and said, like, oh, you can't play this video game because it offends this person. Hmm. It offends this one group of people, so you can't play this video game. Oh, it's slightly violent. Or just have the law of, like, you have to be 18, and you have to show your ID. I mean, that that's kind of needed. Yeah. True. Um, I'm trying to remember of some other... Oh, you know what? Another thing. The Sony... It's killing off the oh. P- PS3 and the PSP. I don't and the... think that's as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Well, I mean, it does come down to a point of like, OK, so you can still redownload your shit. That's great. But now you like, how is anyone going to get this content ever again? It's like it just makes it so like, yeah, just pirate because you keep it forever. Yeah. If they want to stop piracy. You probably figure out how to keep the lights on without, you know, having to be like, you have to cut it off. I mean, the problem with a lot of the industry is that we sit there and we, the people, they forget that people want things that make the problems go away. Yeah. Well, as quickly I, as possible. I'm sure, like, if Sony, actually, I wish Sony did more of a stance like how Xbox Live did it was, you know, they got rid of the old Xbox Live, but they're at least showcasing like we need to get a, get away from this legacy shit because it's hurting us badly. Like if they just explain more, I'm sure that's what Sony's doing. They're not explaining that, but I'm sure that's what they're doing because the fucking building on their back end for that must be just horrid. Uh, and I'm sure on the PS5, it's just like way easier to and for, and the PS4 is probably way easier, too. It's just that like it's so weird because uh, what's what's the time frame on the I was going to say, like, what's the I'm sure Vita is like nine, nine years, isn't it? Yeah, it's like close to it. Yeah, like it's not not even a decade old and they're shutting that shit off. It's kind of kind of it just feels kind of dirty. It's, whole, it's 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 not conducive to what people want exactly so it just comes down to a point of like just pirate it because you you keep it forever and also you can't trust a company ever ever to keep it on especially like especially when i kept seeing stories over and over of mmos turning off and it's like why would you trust a company at all unless you have a physical copy in your hands it's like it just boils down to like just get the physical and pirate sadly 
unless you're a cool company and you're like, oh, we just have thousands of copies everywhere, which is not not a thing. You know, I, I mean, just, that's true. Yeah, I, I just think the whole situation is just dirty and it just makes if you have to turn off a server for because and then turns off the marketplace and you turns off people from getting ever getting the thing ever again, it turns people off on your service entirely. Like it won't it, no trust is going to be there at all. I mean, I know Steam kind of like turns. Well, actually, does Steam ever get D-list games? I'm sure uh, they, sometimes. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's for a reason, though. They never have to like, oh, server costs D-list. Yeah. Yeah. So well, Steam will D-list games for reasons like, oh, this game is mildly offensive. Like, that's what happened with like Rape Day and shit like that. Right. So, yeah, they'll do stuff. Oh, game has where... nipple slip and has meant E for everyone. Whoops. <laughs> Pretty much like stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, whatever. I hopefully the freaking actually fucking Nintendo is the worst for doing that. I mean, Nintendo's big problem, though, is like they'll do it, but like you'll sit there and you'll watch them do it. Well, funny enough, <laughs> like I've heard uh, Giant Bomb talk about it, too, and they're like it, it, to like when you hear Nintendo doing this type of shit and they're even worse at it. You just go, of course, they're going to do it because Nintendo never pulls their head out of their ass. Yeah, well, Nintendo's also a company that has a very large backlog and they can kind of afford to do that, too. That yeah, exactly. And it's that, like you look at somebody like Microsoft, they really don't. They don't have a large backlog. Yeah, they don't really have that kind of big thing there. Yeah, they just kind of have kind of whatever, right? Yeah, they got I mean, they have the original Xbox games and the original 360s and everything like that that's still a decent log but it's not as probably as you know <laughs> massive log as would you say nintendo with their fucking like what 100 years not 100 years but like 80s at least pretty much going all the way up till now and yeah it's just i i just wish companies get treated pr uh, preservation of games with, like, with a lot more respect than they do now well that's the reason why you have emulation yeah. Right. Because you can't trust a company because they're they only see is they only see dollar signs. Because if they don't see a dollar signs, like you know, that's the thing that sucks with old games is that a lot of companies just don't care with old shit because he's like, I how can we sell this? We can't. And it's like, and then people go, but it's such a priceless thing of history. You have to try to keep it around. And then companies yeah. go, no. And you go, well, I'm just going to pirate it. And, they, and then the companies cry. And you go, we well, how asked dare you. you. <laughs> like, we asked you to you try to ship it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like we asked you to try to ship the stupid thing that we want again. And you said no. And you cry. Like, why? <laughs> just give like, us what we want, companies. Oh, fucking Christ. I think I think it's just a double edged sword of like, OK, if you do do preservation, it's probably not going to give you any money, but yeah, if you pretty do, much. but it will give you so much cred, like street cred of like, oh, you know, they brought this back and it brought that back and it brought this back. And you're like, what? You're such a you're such coolest company to the like word of mouth, which is <laughs> fucking people just be like, oh, you know, they brought this back too. And they're like, what? It's cool. And also, you can replay everything. Oh, actually, I, I kind of hypothesize way uh, the game games are go, uh, especially for consoles. The way it's gonna go, especially with and also Xbox, you're just gonna download everything on PC, especially for PS4 and Nintendo. It's gonna happen. The, the PlayStation and Nintendo are gonna be the slowest to accept that, but you're gonna play it on computer. Yeah. Well, Nintendo doesn't need to. I think they're going to go to a computer, but again, they're the slowest. Sony is like on the teetering edge right beside Xbox of like they could, but they probably don't want to. But like, I think Nintendo, like, yeah, like you said, they probably don't they probably don't ever have to. But it's like, I think whenever shit hits the fan, they're going to probably try to throw it on computer. Although they have so much money, I highly doubt that, but. 
whatever. It's my tin my tin foil hat theory of like, yeah, Xbox will put it on computer. PlayStation will maybe put it on computer. Nintendo will probably die before they put it on computer. <laughs> Nintendo will be forced to put it on computer by everyone. Well, I wonder I also kind of wonder if they see I have a point of view of like Oh, so many people already have like better emulations and shit. Why do we bother? And it's like, well, just so there's only a, that. Yeah, it, it's, it's more of like an argument of like, just again, gaming history is important. Yeah. So whatever. Like, I get what you're saying. I, 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 I really do. I get it more than I get where Alan's coming from on Doom Eternal. Because mm-hmm. Alan just seems to have like a hate boner out for this game. Doom Eternal, I the thing is, it's not it's not terrible. Like it's like a perfect like six out of ten because it's like it's, I disagree with that statement, but I, yeah, sure. I can. You keep saying those words and I don't think you keep saying those well, no, words. Like I, I the reason I disagree with that statement is because it's like it's like I I literally enjoy like. I I enjoy playing a game where it's like. Okay, it's fast moving. It's very quick moving and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Alan's like, no, it's like it. It's because like if you have a gun, or actually my, I think my biggest nail in the coffin is I punch a dude in the face. It does nothing. It's bad. I I punch a dude in the face and it does nothing. I, I you know what? If the enemy's really big, my punch should do nothing or maybe just really little fine if like you know depending on size if the dude is just as big as me or smaller and i punch it i expect to like do some hefty damage or explode like like you're the doom guy you're fucking overcharged as fuck you should be able to knock these things out with one punch usually and it's like and it does nothing like i think just on that alone it's like the, the design is terrible like, I, 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 if you want fast moving, I understand fast moving, but I think because of the puzzle element, it makes it bad. It, again, just just play fucking Shadow Warrior. It's better. <laughs> just play Shadow Warrior. Just play Shadow Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> if you think if you play Doom Eternal and you don't like it because of the puzzle shooting, just play Shadow Warrior. You get a, a you get a smooth talking asshole, a, a, a low wang. And uh, they also point a lot of jokes of uh, his name is Lo Wang. And also he's a guy that he's the uh, the straight man of the game. And he also <laughs> he's a straight man, makes a lot of j- cracks, a lot of jokes. And he also goes like, fuck off. I got to do this. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I still, I still need to play through Shadow Warrior one and two. Yeah, uh, I sh- uh, what was it? They re- yeah, they made Shadow Warrior. Yeah, like the new one, Shadow Warrior. There's still the old Shadow Warrior. Uh, you could get that. That's dirt cheap, too. It, it was more really more of a, du- of a Duke Nukem mod, I think. And that's still, like, pretty decent. It was a build game, you mean? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and, yeah, like, when they remade it and made it, like, a 3D shooter, that's very similar. Again, similar to Doom, but it's just, like... <laughs> similar to Doom, but I think their design philosophy is way better because, again, when you have the sword... You can cut up a lot of enemies in one go or at least like maybe three to four cuts. And it's like, yeah, I understand this way better because it's a fucking sword and it should cut. That's that's probably their design philosophy. A sword should cut. It's just big words on a fucking billboard <laughs> on the white on the whiteboard on their fucking office. A sword should cut. <laughs> and they go, oh, fuck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A sword should cut. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, and they're like, "What about the guns? They should kill." Oh, right, of course they should kill. They start programming away at the keyboard of tapping out the button, <laughs> and game's done. Perfect. And the <laughs> and they twiddle the knobs on their fucking soundboard and go, "Okay, I'll update the graphics to level three. <laughs> Uh, fucking I hate that commercial it's so bad you, you remember that commercial I, 
think it's what college was that? It was definitely like a early back in the day gaming college of I say quote unquote gaming college, but it was more of like computer college and they advertise, oh, you can make video games at our college. But that commercial is so fucking cringy. It doesn't make any fucking sense, especially if you yeah. know what, what the hell they're talking oh, about, dude. Those things were always so horrible and stuff There's, like that. They were just uh, awful. You'd watch them and you'd be like, oh, I can make that model like 10 minutes. Well, that or is like when they say like with the guy fiddles a knob, <coughs> fiddles a knob on a fucking thing and goes, oh, the I don't know, like the graphics looks bad on this. And he fiddles a knob like it looks like it came from a music mixer. And he goes, oh, that looks much better. And it's like, that's not how that works at no. all. <laughs> like, oh. Uh. You can find the commercial because that that's that's a classic commercial. Oh, there we go. Game testers. Just finish level three. It would turn up the graphics a little bit. Oh boy. Well, you're playing video games. I'm, I am. I yeah. think that we need to end the show. You should. So, thank you everyone for listening to the Black Mind Games podcast at Podbean. You can listen to us every Thursday on podbean.com. You can also subscribe to us to your favorite podcasting app of choice. Um, thank you, Josh. Thank you, uh, Alan, uh, for joining me. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Uh, let me play you off. You were, are, were you dead? Then you could have been in here. You weren't necessary to conversations. <laughs> How, that's well, why I asked that. Like, I would sit there and tell, try to tell Josh and Josh would mute himself. Oh man, I was gonna like talk about like how like this week has been like immensely no, we're, stressful. No, let's get going. Let's get podcast rolling. I gotta dip okay. in forty minutes, so. Oh, so boy. sink in three, two, one.